Zybe Maiden Tun has Sussex on the back foot. Sussex were blown away by Northamptonshire on day one. Gareth Berg and Ben Sanderson each took five to skittle their visitors for 100, and they dealt better with conditions. Their score heading into day two, 215 for five. The hosts were just as effective at the start of day two. Zybe clear of 50 and looking for more, but Rossington, at the other end, had designs on a half century of his own. And he'd get there. A single off Mika from the 90th ball he faced was enough to take him to the landmark figure and heap more pain on the visitors. The Team 250 wasn't far away either. That figure was reached in the next over and Northamptonshire were batting with real confidence. Zybe had found his feet again and before long he was pushing for a century, the score now edging towards 300. Rossington took them to that landmark, but all eyes were on his partner at the other end. Zaib's maiden century brought up when he steered Rawlins down to third man for two. A great moment for the young man to enjoy. He'd finish on 135. A sweet missed, and Rawlins found his pads. Out, LBW. They'd keep Sussex at bay until lunch. The score at the break, 346 for six. The hosts now 240 ahead. 350 was up shortly after the resumption, but Northamptonshire were to lose their other set bat. Washington had to go, a catch handed to head off the bowling of Sarrow. Parnell went in the next over, a fifth for Robinson, Sussex's main man thus far. Berg wasn't content with just his five-wicket haul. He forged an important partnership with Tom Taylor and took the total beyond 400, and with it, the game was starting to look safe for the hosts. The ninth wicket was worth 50 soon after. Berg had fired his way to 38 when he came unstuck against Travis Head. The ball sliced off the bat into the hands of Joe Sarrow. And the declaration came soon after. The total 441 and the lead a more than healthy 335. Zaib's maiden century had done much of the heavy lifting for his side. Northamptonshire enjoying a real position of strength thanks to his and his colleagues lower order hitting. Robinson was once again the pick for Sussex. And the visitors wouldn't be able to replicate their hosts. 24 on the board when Haynes sliced a catch off Berg to the slip cordon. And it wouldn't be long before Thomason too had to go. Sanderson back in the wickets, the other opener caught at slip. They were still shy of 50 when they made their way into T, the score 41 for two. And it didn't get much better for Sussex. 50 runs up, but head out soon after. Caught behind off the bowling of Berg. Clark was next. He was bowled by Sanderson, the Northamptonshire pair once again trading wickets. Van Zyl and Brown enjoyed a better time of it. The former set, while the captain tried to arrest his team's slide. They'd take the total to 100 together. Van Zyl into the 40s in the process. And then there was a rare moment for Sussex to enjoy. Van Zyl fired his way to 50 and made sure that at least his side would make it to the third day of play. They'd eventually reach the close, trailing by 181. The score 154 for four and Sussex were having a real go at denying Northamptonshire the innings win that they were hunting.